<clears throat> so I will read the translation here. O oh my Lord, sustainer of all that lives. This is the translation of the name Bushan. So in Mantra 15, we start Nama Kirtan. We already have Nama Kirtan. Upanishad, the Acharya, glorifies the Lord by singing his names. His name is Pushan, and Pushan means one, not, not someone who pushes, but means someone who uh, supports and maintains. <coughs> you may know this word Pushti, like in Pushti Mark, a path of nourishment, our sister path. Uh, it's Valva Santadaya's name for Rag Raganuga Bhakti, Raghunar. So Pushan, one who Sustains, that's the name of Krishna. O my Lord, sustainer of all that lives, your real face is covered by your dazzling effulgence. Kindly remove that covering and ex exhibit yourself to your pure devotee. O my Ganatimanda, Syagan, and the Masharak, Jakshurmi, and Tasmashi, Ravin, and the Lakaram, Yatta, and the Chalat, and the Padam, and the Tasmashi, Ravin. Ancha kalpa druvya shta kripa sindhu reva java titan bhavi vaishna reka dhuna hama Yasya prasada dhagyupi sadhya ksarva yata umbraja sa shi chaitanya deyome bhagavan santrasina dhuna I offer my obeisances unto Lord Chaitanya by His grace and a complete form can all of a sudden gain complete knowledge. May He be merciful unto me. Sastyas to Vishra Sekhala Prasida Tam Dayam to Gudani Sivamito Dia, Manasta Badram Bajatada Doksha Jay, Avesha Tam no Mati Rabi Hai to Ki. May there be good fortune throughout the universe, and may all envious person, persons be pacified. May all living entities become calm by practicing Bhakti Yoga. This is spoken by Prabhupada Maharaj. It can to uh, chapter 18, text 9. May all living entities become calm by practicing Bhakti Yoga, for by accepting devotional service they will think of each other's welfare. Therefore, let us all engage in the service of the Supreme Transcendence, Lord Sri Krishna, and always remain absorbed in thought of Him. <clears throat> Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Adveda Gadadhara Shiva Sadi Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna Krishna, Krishna, Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare The Lord comes for everybody. But how will he come depends on the person. Yeah. Krishna responds um, exactly as we surrender unto him, exactly as we approach him, in the same way he responds to us. Uh, Shiva uh, Purana, quoted by Jiva Goswami in Bhaktisanarva, says that uh, if a devotee looks at the Lord, the Lord looks at the boat. At uh, the devotee. If the devotee uh, worships the Lord, the Lord worships the devotee. He says in that verse in the Bhagavad Gita, Bajami. You know, Bajami means worship. Bajamiham. Uh, and um, <coughs> if a devotee surrenders to the Lord, the Lord surrenders to the devotee. And you know that he surrenders unto his devotees. Uh, not everywhere, but in Rindavan, especially. You see, he's surrendering to Yashoda Mai and uh, Nanda Maharaj. So he comes, he comes for everybody. And if I want to see him as uh, the world of uh, enjoyment, where I can exhibit my uh, intelligence and powers to control things, okay, so is that... Oh, all right, so that's okay. Thank you. Here we have some message from above. <laughs> Time control there. <laughs> so if we want to uh, control 
the world. And then Krishna gives us, okay, you want uh, the world of laws, like Archimedes. You might have learned uh, Archimedes, in, 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 all of us learned Archimedes in geometry in school. He said, give me a lever, le no, give me a point of uh, <coughs> support, and I, will, I can move the earth. Did you hear this statement? Yeah. So, if you use a long enough lever, he said, I can even, one person, I can move the earth. So, give me laws. So, uh, laws, this is the world of laws, or, or justice, karma, uh, as opposed to the world of love. So, the world of love is the spiritual world, uh, there, uh, where everything happens not according to uh, the laws, the dry and uh, mechanical, you can even say, you know, dead laws, but uh, everything is based on love. And <clears throat> this, is, this is the world of bhakti, this is the world of uh, Krishna. And uh, from time to time Krishna comes here and he shows <clears throat> what it can be. That it can be not the world of justice, not the world of uh, uh, equal, you know, every action uh, um, produces equal reaction. What is this? this is from physics. Yeah just the law of physics, but the world of love, uh, where a devotee can do a little, just a little bit, um, but the Lord thinks that this is so great, a devotee just, you know, offers a few cents uh, to, to the Lord, or he comes and offers obeisances to the Lord, he chants a few names, and the Lord thinks, oh, this person is so nice, and I will never forget this person, like Lord Ram says. Sacri Deva Prabhano Yastava Smiti Chaya Chate Abayam Saradata Smai Dadam Yeta Dratam Mama If someone one time says, Oh Lord, I am yours. Tavai Vasmi, I am yours. Then I promise it's my brata, it's, uh, it's my vow. I'm taking a vow that forever, Sarada, forever I will give him protection. I will give him shelter and fearlessness. Abayam. So one time, one time you just say, Lord, I am yours. <laughs> Maybe softly or loudly, you say, Lord, I am yours. And for him, it's enough. He says, I will never forget this. this, this, this I will remember this forever. <clears throat> what to say if you try to actually serve him and try to do something more for him? The Lord is uh, reciprocating, as we, as we have heard. You make one step to, to Krishna, and Krishna makes ten steps to you. Of course, the distance between us is not exactly 11 steps. <clears throat> That's uh, something that we should remember. Because uh, sometimes we think that, I made the step! Where is Krishna? <laughs> <Yes. clears throat> he made, he made 10 steps or maybe 100 steps towards you, but there's a little more than you know, uh, 11 or 101 steps. <clears throat> We've been running away from him for a long time. So, uh, on this day, Nisimha Chatur Dashi, he uh, comes to show his Bhakta Vatsalyan, that he is a uh, lover of his lovers, he's, he's lover of his devotees, that he reciprocates with total love to, to his devotees. And uh, <clears throat> uh, Prahlad Maharaj, Prahlad Maharaj uh, we, I guess all know this story, Prahlad Maharaj was um, severely persecuted by his father. He was trying to kill, he was trying to kill him in so many ways. Uh, just imagine, uh, if, you're, you know, if, if your father, someone who is so close to you, someone who is supposed to be your protector, one who, who, to whom you look up as your uh, protector in this world, he uh, says his servants to pierce you with spears. Or he, then it doesn't work, because it's very interesting, because it says, uh, Prahlad was embraced by Anirdesha, Anirdesha, by the Lord who is beyond space the Lord who is not in any specific space. So therefore, wherever they uh, thrust their spear, you not there, because he was embraced by the Lord who is beyond space. So he wasn't there, and he wasn't there, they couldn't. So then they what? They, th they threw him under the elephant's feet. Just imagine being thrown, thrown under the feet of an elephant. Uh, mad elephant. Or that didn't work, elephant put him on his, on his back, and they threw him from uh, a mountain. Here in Switzerland, we have many beautiful mountains, and some of them are quite steep. Uh, there are some places if you are uh, thrown or falling, uh, 
they they actually uh, say usually uh, on doing the post mortem that people who uh, fall from high places they uh, arrive to the ground already dead. Like there was one case when they were building a, a skyscraper, skyscraper, and uh, a person fell. One construction worker fell, and it so happened by uh, some good luck that he fell on a huge uh, mountain of sand at the bottom of this construction site, and he fell. He fell under such an angle that his body didn't have even one bruise. You know this blue thing. This uh, wasn't even didn't even hit himself. So soft was his landing, falling from I don't know 30 stories or something. But he was dead. So they say that usually people arrive already dead to to the bottom. They die before they arrive. They die before out of you know uh, heart attack <laughs> or something. They they die out of fear while flying. And uh, so Prahlad Maharaj, uh, not only didn't he die while flying, he didn't die even while uh, landing, because again, he was embraced by uh, his uh, Lord and Master, his beloved <coughs> deity, Krishna. He is he's, he's said to be Krishna Graha, Krishna Graha in the seventh canto. So he, he was, he has a beloved deity. And then uh, Hiranyaka Shippu tried so many, just imagine, he, uh, they try to kill you in so many ways. Sometimes somebody, some, sometimes we have somebody who is uh, not very um, nice to us, and they say something unpleasant to us, or they do something unpleasant to us. What do we feel? We are always feeling threatened, and we are always feeling old. How, why does he do like this? Why? And they don't even try to kill us. Sometimes they put that. They, in this world it happens that the other person may not even think anything bad about us, but we think that he thinks. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is, especially in the Western world, India is easier. In the West we think that he thinks that I think that he doesn't think that she thinks that I think that he doesn't think. <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> right, so we live in a world of imagination and uh, mental anxiety. Mark Twain said, in my, in my life I went through thousands of terrible, terrible things, some of which actually happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the world of fear. This is the uh, strongest necessity, fear, anxiety. This is much stronger than necessity for eating, sleeping, or uh, even mating. You know, if you're under the threat of death, you don't think about uh, opposite sex or about eating. You know, the plane is falling down, you don't think, oh, I, I, I didn't eat for the last two hours, maybe I should have a snack, I, guess. Yeah, I still have five minutes before I hit the ground. That would be the last thing in your mind. <laughs> this is the highest, uh, the strongest necessity. But Prahlad Maharaj was free from that. Prahlad Maharaj had, had no fear. Why? He was surrendered. So then, who was afraid in that story? Who was the one who was afraid in that story? Hiranyaka Shippu, the one who, who controlled the whole universe. He even told the, the demigods, some of the demigods who were great Vaishnavas, he told them, uh, get lost, I will take care of uh, universal functions, I will control everything. He was controlling everything, he had everything. And he was always angry and he was afraid. And he got this huge, indestructible, uh, I don't know what to call him, killing machine or something, super being, he became afraid of a five-year-old child. He became so scared of this five-year-old child that he tried everything to kill him through somebody else. And then if, when that didn't work, then he, what he tried, he, uh, then, he, you know, then he thought, well, maybe I'll try to uh, you know, make friends with him. So he called him and he said, well, a lot. Uh, uh, I hope you didn't take it uh, seriously. <laughs> 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 and Prabhupada didn't take it. He, he actually, that Prabhupada says, that's what Prabhupada, Prabhupada was thinking in his simplicity. Well, my father is just joking with me. <laughs> he, he never thought, oh, he's an enemy, oh, he's a rascal. Prabhupada was free from that. So he said, Prabhupada, you know, he just had some fun. Give me that. It was just good fun. Yeah, okay. And. Uh, <clears throat> Prahlad, tell me, uh, we could be a good 
uh, good partnership, you know. I am, you know, who I am, and, and it seems that you have a lot of uh, power also, as in our, you know, past times we have <laughs> discovered you are very powerful. You are very powerful. <laughs> so, Prahlad, uh, where do you get your power? Can you please tell me? You know, he's trying to get some, you know, uh, sp spying some confidential information. <laughs> Prahlad said, well, O oh best of demons, uh, from the same source as you. What do you mean, same, same source as me? Well, from Supreme Lord. Ah, oh, again, that Supreme Lord, again, that Vishnu, Hari. You always have to, you know, speak about him. Where is your Supreme Lord? I went searching for him. I tried to find him. Of course, uh, um, Vishnu, in his uh, planet in the material world, we have a planet, Shirondakasha uh, Vishnu, in the material world, he didn't want to see Hiranikashipu, so he hid in the place where Hiranikashipu would never look in his own heart. <laughs> he never looks in there. So he was, he was inside. So, uh, where, where is he? I was looking for him everywhere. I, uh, I didn't see him anywhere. Even they say there is a planet that, uh, that he has. He, he's not even there. So what are we talking about? Where is he? Well, I said, well he's everywhere. Where? Everywhere. Is he, is he here? Yeah, he's here. Is he, is he in, in the pillar? Yeah, he's in the pillar also. And some some Acharya said that actually at that moment, uh, Krishna actually showed himself to Prahlad and he winked. <laughs> Prahlad looked and said, yeah, he's there. <laughs> And then, you know, Hirani uh, Kashiko said, then let him protect you! And he decided, well, if my stupid servants couldn't kill him, let me do it myself. I cannot get good help these days. You know, so let me do, do the job. So he pulled, pulls out his sword, and before striking Prahlad, he says, okay, so where is your uh, god? And then he strikes the column, and uh, the column crashes. And he hears <laughs> something more than that. <laughs> and then he sees a strange creature, uh, which uh, um, defies the laws of logic, you know, because this creature is not human and is not uh, and is not um, <clears throat> animal. Yes. And uh, this happened not in the daytime, not in the night. This happened not inside, not outside. It was in the. It's called portico. Yeah, it's like you know, this. These columns uh, on the around the around the house, so it's not like inside, but also not like completely outside. So he, he fulfilled all the conditions that Hanikashipu uh, posited. Even that condition that he should not be killed neither by a living nor by by death, because he was killed by the uh, claws, you know, the, the nails of of uh, which are not exactly uh, living. Uh, we don't feel any pain when we cut them, but also not exactly dead, because they grow and they, you know, they, they change during our life. So he, he fulfilled every single condition. For Krishna, it's no problem. Brahma also laughed when Kirani Kashipu asked for. He tried to, to, he tried to trap Brahma in the Aristotelian logic, you know, the exclusion of the third. So uh, black and white. It, it has to be either black or white, nothing third. It has to be either inside or outside, nothing third. <coughs> he was a little backwards, he didn't know the modern uh, fuzzy types of logic, model logic. <coughs> and he was uh, back into the um, you know, Aristotelian logic. And yeah, so Nrisimadev appeared. Nrisimadev appeared and he uh, appeared not to kill Hiranekashipu, he appeared to save. Prahlad Maharaj. He appeared to reciprocate with Prahlad Maharaj. That's why he appeared. In fact, Garga Samhita, in Garga Samhita Udhava, when he brought letters for Shimati Radharani, he glorifies, uh, and Radharani is very distraught in separation with Krishna. So then Udhava uh, begins to glorify her, saying that uh, Krishna is always the Supreme Lord and you are always his best devotee. And whenever Krishna comes, you also come, always come with him. When he comes as Narada, you come as his Vina. When he comes as the Brahmachari Kumaras, you come as Shruti Shastra. 
Jó, de ez Shakti Vásárolt, ez jó, jó, de ez Shakti, de ez Shakti. Ez Shruti Shastri. When he comes as Parashuram, you come as sharpness of his axe. Uh, when he uh, comes as uh, uh, Urukrama, they, then you come as Jayanti. When he comes as uh, Yagyabaraha, you come as uh, the Earth Goddess. And when he comes as Narasimha, then you come as the beautiful quality of his Lila, the quality of Bhaktavatsalya. You come like that, Oshimati Radharani. And you are never separated from him. And when Krishna appears in this world as the sun, you come as the sunlight. When he appears as the moon, you appear as moonlight. You are always with him. And Radhani was so happy with Uddhava that she gave him supreme blessings for Bhakti and uh, she accepted Krishna's letter. <laughs> so Radharani is coming as Bhakta uh, Vatsalya of Narasimha Lila, as the as love of as, as God's love for, for a devotee. This is uh, the quality that uh, touches us the most. This is what we see also in that beautiful picture there, that Krishna loves his devotees. Krishna reciprocates uh, the same way as devotee approaches, approaches him. So, in, in uh, Shisha Upanishad, the devotee, after uh, speaking about uh, the principle of this world, that everything belongs to the Lord and is controlled by the Lord, that the Lord is in everybody's heart, and you meditate on Him in everybody's heart, and that, um, this way respecting and uh, uh, serving and uh, <coughs> trying to do something good for everybody. And uh, then Ishupanishad warns us about the dangers of the path, about uh, being an extremist, you know, going too much one side or too much into the other side, to be becoming too spiritual too quickly or neglecting spirituality altogether. So Ishupanishad very nicely speaks about uh, proper balance. And then after that, uh, we have this mantra, Hiranmaya, oh Lord, please remove that Hiranmaya Patra. Hiranmaya Patra. And it has several meanings. One, the, the, uh, the usual meaning we always say is remove the golden effulgence, you know, that is like a, a curtain covering you. So remove, remove uh, the Brahma Jyoti effulgence so that I can see your face, O Pushan, O Sustainer. Uh, so the devotee surrenders uh, to the Lord. I think that also has other, other meanings. Uh, other Acharyas com commenting on uh, um, this verse of Ishupanishad said, said that Hiranmaya Patra can mean a golden pot. Patra is a pot, Hiranmaya golden, which, is, which uh, um, personifies all kinds of blessings we have can be wealth, golden pot, golden pot, yeah, pot of gold, say it. pot full, uh, a pot full of coal. <laughs> so Krishna, please don't keep it in front of my eyes and let me see your face, rather. It can be uh, knowledge. It can be uh, all kinds of prosperity. It can be liberation. It can be so many manifestations of Krishna's energy. And uh, this is what keeps us back from actually surrendering to, uh, to Krishna. So the uh, question is not about Krishna coming. The question is about uh, my, myself surrendering. What, what, am I, what am I looking for? Am I looking for a golden pot or a pot of gold? Or am I looking actually for the absolute truth? And Prahlad Maharaj, Prahlad Maharaj was totally surrendered. Sometimes we say, so we have to surrender to, to, you know, to be protected by Krishna. Krishna. So Pushan also means, means protector. So there are so many stories. And we see that protects not only uh, millions of years ago, he protects even today. That's why we actually started uh, worshiping the Simhada in our temples. Because uh, uh, there were some, in fact, who were, they were the hell, hell, uh, Hell's Angels, right? Biker, biker gangs. And not bikes, choppers. They created this style of, of bikes. Some 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 gangs were, uh, you know, there was a famous gang when uh, the, to join the gang you had to have your front tooth knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> you, had to, you had to have a toothless uh, smile. You know, very very scary. Then you can be a part of the gang. 
And so uh, there were some attacks on, on, on devotees. <clears throat> so then Prabhupada said, okay, so let's, uh, you, you can start uh, chanting Namaste Narasimhaya as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was singing before entering Chaitanya Mandir. Mentioned in Chaitanya Chaitanya. <clears throat> and uh, um, there are, he protects even today. And there are stories like that famous story about uh, one devotee distributing books in New York and then seeing. Uh, uh, as far as I remember, it was uh, and 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 then seeing that uh, some two uh, these uh, bikers, Pragosh, uh, two two bike, thank you, two bikers uh, spotted him, appeared, and then uh, started closing on, closing closing in on him, and, and then he and then he uh, you know started going faster, and then he turned into some. Uh, adjoining street and it turned out that this street is a blind street there's no no way out of that street so then he you know where where to go so he turns around then he sees this you know these bikers coming you know closer relishing every moment of it so then you know what the devotees do they say well namaste and then as he started singing he saw that they, their faces became unsure, and then they looked at him and they turned around and disappeared. <laughs> that wasn't the end of the story. They came on the Sunday feast. He saw them in the Sunday feast. <laughs> <laughs> so he came to them and he said, <clears throat> didn't, I, didn't I see you last week <laughs> in the street? He said, yep, that was us. But uh, weren't you like going to you know attack me or something? He says, "Yep, we tried. We wanted to attack you." <laughs> then uh, what? Why didn't you? And why are you here? I said, "Well, that's why we are here. Because as we started approaching you, all of a sudden we saw a lion appear above you in the air. So we never never saw anything like that." And uh, so, you know, at that moment we thought it's not a good idea to attack a person <laughs> under whom, above whom all of a sudden a lion appears. <laughs> but uh, we liked that trick, so we came, to, we came here to find out how do you do that. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's doing that also today, yeah, he's protecting the audience also today. Um, He's protecting us from, from Anartas, but Tino Thakur says he removes our Anartas to clear the way to the worship of Radha Krishna. He mentions this in Navadipada um, Mahatma. Or another more recent story, it was a few years ago, some uh, devotees I know went to, they were in Turkey, and as far as I remember, it was Trapezun or Trapzon. And uh, they went to the market to collect donations, bazaar. And they, as they were collecting donations, all of a sudden, uh, some tough guys approached them and said, what do you think you are doing here? Said, well, we, we collect donations. Said, Maybe you don't know, but we are the collectors here. You know, like in many countries, you have racket, and uh, any business has to pay them something, so they collect from everybody for so-called protection, or maybe even not uh, so-called, because the government doesn't have enough power to protect, so the you know, mafia does it. Yeah. So they said, we are the collectors here, so come with us. So devotees, the two devotees, and you know, three or four guys, tough guys, so you know, they, they lead them somewhere in dark, in some dark street, so the devotees are following these these guys. And they you know what what to do. I mean, well, money they will take. That's clear. But uh, what will they do with us? You know, <laughs> after they eat the money. So then one devotee said, "Well, <clears throat> there's one thing you should do." Namaste Narasimhaya Pralado Lado Daine. And as soon as he started chanting, the guy who was uh, in front of him, the leader of these that gang. He stopped and said, what was that? He said, well, this is a prayer to the Lord. We are monks. We are monks, we are worshiping the Lord, and this is, this is a prayer to the Lord. So this guy said, why didn't you tell this immediately? 
<laughs> oh, you're monks. You're Hare Krishna monks. Oh, okay. Come, we'll help you. <laughs> Come, we'll, we'll help you collect these don donations. <laughs> Sometimes Narasimha arranges for <laughs> a very sudden, <laughs> uh, surprising protection <laughs> to appear. <laughs> so, uh, what does it mean to surrender? So, in, so imagine you are in a tough situation. Uh, how do you surrender? Okay, you chant Namaste Narasimha, that you know, or chant Hare Krishna. Okay. What else? What, what is the mood? <laughs> you, of course, uh, you know, but uh, somebody else can tell me, can volunteer, I guess. What is the mentality? Humble position. Humble position? Yeah, like, uh, whatever is your desire can happen to me. Oh, you all know. It is amazing. <laughs> Not only your English, everyone knows everything. <laughs> amazing. Yes. Surrender doesn't mean I catch Krishna's feet and say, I surrender, protect me. Protect me, protect me. I surrender, yes, yes, I surrender, protect me, protect me, surrender, protect me. No, it's not surrender. Because it, mean, it means we give the advice to the Lord. Yeah, we, we are taking, sometimes our prayers to the Lord are like a consultancy business. You know, we come and say, oh, my Lord, Hare Krishna, I think that it will be proper for you to do like that. And it would also nice if you did like this. And also here, uh, something is missing. And maybe you overlook also that, you know, in your computer, you're playing with the girls in Vrindavan, and you didn't notice that I'm running low on, cat, low on cash and something. It's like consultancy. You go and consult the Lord, you know, how, how he should run the universe. <laughs> That's not surrender. Surrender means uh, to accept that Krishna, whatever you wish, Whatever you wish. So here, that's why Ishapanishad prays. Please remove that golden curtain, remove that golden pot in front of my eyes that covers you, and show me your beautiful face. So I have not other desires other than Sarya. Like Prahlad Maharaj. Shri Simhadeo Ki Jai. Shri Prahlad Maharaj Ki Jai. Hey, go, go, go.